This is calculator question number 34. College Board describes a study in which we already have 240 male and 160 female bats, and we add 100 more female bats. And the question is, how many more male bats at three-fifths of the total are male? And I am going to write three-fifths, which is the fraction of the total that are male, equals all our male bats, which is the 240 we already have, plus I'm going to call it x, over the 240 plus 160 bats plus 100 more female plus x. So my numerator is the male bats, 240 that I started with, and x that we still need. My denominator is all the bats, 240 male, 160 female, another 100 female, and x male. And I could solve this by simplifying algebraically, cross multiply, etc. But an easier way, since this is an equation with only one variable, it's actually quite fast to put the left side 3 fifths into y1, the right side parentheses 240 plus x, close the parentheses, divide that by 240 plus 160 plus 100 plus x, close the parentheses on the denominator. Choose a window that includes all reasonable values and I'm going to go to 1,000, which is far more than reasonable. And for y, negative 1 to negative 1 to 1, because I only need to see 3 fifths. And when I hit graph, the graph on my calculator looks like this. Here's y equals 3 fifths. And here's the line for my right hand side and the x value where the intersect is my ans answer. So second trace for calculate choice 5 is intersect, hit enter three times this is my favorite way of solving equations with only one variable if I'm pressed for time it works no matter how complex the equation is x equals 150 y equals 0.6 which is 3 fifths, we knew that so we need 150 more mail bats. Another way of doing this is we had 240 out of 400 bats, which is 3 fifths. So 3 fifths of the original bats were male. I just need 3 fifths of the new bats. So we could call that 3 fifths equals x male over the 100 females we have plus x. And that's pretty easy to cross multiply. So that's 3 times 100 plus x equals 5 times x. 300 plus 3x equals 5x. Subtract 3x from both sides. 300 equals 2x. Divide by 2 to get x by itself. And x equals 150. Same answer. Or I could solve the equation here algebraically instead of on the calculator. I'm going to write it as 3 fifths equals 240 plus x over 400 plus 100 is 500. 500 plus x. And this is almost the same thing I just did. So cross multiplying 3 times 500 plus x equals 5 times 240 plus x. 1500 plus 3x equals 1200 plus 5x, subtract 1200 from both sides, and I get 300 plus 3x equals 5x, and that's where I was before, subtract 3x, and I get 2x on the right, divide by 2, and I get x equals 150. Multiple ways of solving this, they all give you the correct answer. It's important to read the question carefully so that we don't write the wrong equation at the start. As long as you write the correct equation, you're back into the sort of math that you do in your math class and hopefully we've polished those skills enough to get it right when we know it counts. Come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.